Hello everyone, this is Still Size 6 and thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Now I want to tell you I've never really been a huge fan of store bought hand sanitizers. I mean these things have such a strong alcohol smell and I've been a little bit weary about the ingredients and putting them on my own hands. And then I found out that these store bought it hand sanitizers a resistance to bacteria and germs because our bodies become accustomed to and it. And I was curious about the ingredients. I mean, there's things here I can't even pronounce. There's benzophenone. What is that stuff? Carbomer. It gives skin creams and lotions their texture and is one of the cos cosmetic chemist's favorite ingredients. There's fragrance, glycerin, isopropyl myristate. What is that stuff? Isopropyl myristate is a synthetic oil widely used in the cosmetics and pharmaceutical industries as a lubricant, emollient, and as a non toxic alternative for controlling head lice. Propylene glycol. According to the Environmental Working Group, propylene glycol can cause a whole host of problems. It is rated a 4 by them, which is categorized as a moderate health issue. It has been shown to be linked to cancer, developmental, and reproductive issues, allergies. It has been found to provoke skin irritation and sensitization in humans as low as 2% concentration. Tocopherol acetate. According to the Natural Skin Care Authority website, it indicates that tocopherol acetate is potentially contaminated with impurities linked to cancer or other significant health problems. It's a skin sensitizer and can instigate immune system response that can include itching, burning, scaling, highs, and blistering of skin. So enough already with these unnatural ingredients that nobody even knows how to pronounce or what it is that they're doing to our skin and to our bodies. I have created my own all-natural homemade hand sanitizer, which is not only good for you, but also it doesn't create a resistance to germs but and bacteria. It also smells nice, and on top of that, it feels nice on your skin. So if you're interested in finding out how to make your own all-natural handmade sanitizer, then stay tuned for the video coming right up. So to make your own handmade sanitizer, you're going to first need some aloe vera gel. This is 16 ounces, but you don't need that much. And you'll need tea tree oil as well. You're also going to need some lavender oil. This is the organic lavender oil that I have here. It smells so good. Yes, lavender oil will put you to sleep. So you have to be careful. You'll also need some vitamin E. And that is really optional, but that is to preserve the shelf life of your hand sanitizer. And you'll need a dropper. You'll need something that you can get the aloe vera gel out and put it in your bottle. And you'll need some bottles. Here I have some bottles that I've purchased from the 99 cent store. As you can see, the price tag is still on it. And those are four ounce bottles that I have. So, first things first, you're going to want to add your aloe vera gel to your bottle. And I'm doing that by just taking the dropper, filling it up with the aloe vera gel, and then transferring it to the bottle. Yes, it takes quite some time. And I know that it is boring, and I don't want to bore you with filling up the bottle, so I will definitely fast forward at this point. And you want to add about six drops of tea tree oil. 
and about six drops of lavender oil, which you can also increase. Lavender is also good for the scent. It can also drown out the aloe vera gel, which really doesn't smell so nice. And then add the vitamin E oil as well. And you probably want to add about eight or nine drops of that. And then you can replace the top to your bottle. And you have your homemade hand sanitizer. So as you can see by the video, this hand sanitizer is very easy to make. And not only is it effective, and not only is it not harmful to your body, but it's good for you also because it doesn't build any sort of resistance to bacteria and germs. I have calculated this bottle of hand sanitizer to be around 85 cents to $1 as opposed to this, which I purchased at a local drugstore for, I believe I paid $1.50 to $2 for this. But you know what? When it comes to your health and your body, I would say that it is So priceless. if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more. And also don't forget Everyone, to rate as well. Be healthy, be happy, and be blessed.